I have a very small niche of middle-aged women <laughs> that if it's a big marathon and it's the day before or the day of, I am famous. <laughs> but that's it. <laughs> Today I'm planning on going long, not worrying about pace today, just want to get to between 35 and 40k, so 2 hours and 15 minutes or so, and so I think I'm going to run with Nell a little bit and we'll see how it goes, if she's running fast I'll run away. If she's going too slow then I'll go now. <laughs> I'm joking, I don't know, we'll see. But <laughs> Yeah. Alright, bring it now. I'm ready. You see me getting dropped. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Six Is this football. too slow for you? <laughs> it's alright. I have a little injury that if anything goes wrong, I'll just blame it on you. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, just getting a long run in, and that's about it. Very simple today. Cool. cool. So today was an important day in my marathon training block. I've been trying to run a marathon where I do the first half relatively comfortable and then I can progress and run the second half faster. That has been my goal for a couple of years now and I failed at it. Um, inside of me, I'm very competitive, so I want to run fast. And that feeling of saving your energy for the end has been very difficult for me. I know it's the way to do it and I know if I can do it, I'll be successful in the marathon. I just haven't been able to do it so far. So I've been training a lot and been putting a lot of effort in this block to start my first half comfortable, easy, and then progress. So since I got back to Kenya, all my long runs, and we've done at least six or seven, around 30 kilometers to 35 kilometers, they all have been pretty comfortable in the first half, and then I progress. So Luis says we still have more stardom, but he is recognized by the same two subscribers. And similar experiences like that now? <laughs> Not my YouTube subscribers, no. Nell is just famous because she runs fast. <laughs> which no. is the goal. Yeah. I have a very small niche of middle-aged women <laughs> that if it's a big marathon and it's the day before or the day of, I am famous, <laughs> but that's it. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> hey, here we go, guys. Good work. What are you talking about fan? Fan, I don't even know those <laughs> ladies. <laughs> Crazy. <sighs> well, I have this story that I get like, 20 DMs per day. <laughs> Never have I ever had a DM from a young woman. It's always old people or guys. Yeah. Which is okay, because I'm a married man. Yeah. And then one day, you got a DM for you, from a young woman, but it was for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a crush on now. Well, thank you for letting me know. Yeah. Appreciate it. Been working on these apps for nothing. <laughs> sometimes I run a little bit faster, sometimes a little bit slower. But today we had a special guest. Nell is a very accomplished, very fast athlete. Um, she has a low 220 marathon time, so not that far away from me, honestly. So she had a similar workout, but she was going to go a little bit faster for the first 20K. So I said, okay, now let's run together, and then after 20K, I'll just run progressive. So the first 20 kilometers, we ran about 3.30 per kilometer pace. So not that slow, or not slow at all, actually. It was like very very good and I was feeling very comfortable we talked the whole way 
we were saying hi to people along the way it was it was good running 330s and then when i hit the 25k mark i was like all right time to go and time to run progressive so i went from 330s running down to 315s 17s uh, a couple three twenties, depending on the route. Whenever the route got hard, it was maybe low three twenties or high three nineteens. Progressively, huh? Progressively. Okay. Good job. How many miles is that? then when the route was good I was running close to 310 which is around my goal marathon pace so I did exactly what I was hoping for and exactly what I was out for which was the first half comfortable the second half or you know the next 15k close to race pace so for my next marathon and I'm saying this out loud because I want to hear myself saying it I do want to take it easy the first half for me taking it easy might mean a high 67 maybe even a 68 even though in my head that sounds low and I want to run a lot faster than that maybe that's what I have to do run 68 the first half and then start progressing and see how fast I can run oh, the second half. all right 35 kilometers this time it was a little different because I did 20k not 25k with now we were still running pretty decent but I was definitely uh, trying to be as calm and patient as possible so we ran I think average like 337 something like that and then at 25k I went progressive ran some 315s 313s nothing too fast because the last 10k of this route it's kind of hard so definitely progressive and faster but nothing too fast um, and I finish in an average of 3.30 per K. So nothing crazy, but definitely a good progression. Um, and I feel good, feel strong. Practice my drinks, my gels, everything that I have to do, I did. So good day. Um, my foot has been bothering me a little bit. Um, and I was nervous that I wasn't gonna be able to do it, but I told myself like, let's go. Do your best, try your best, and if it hurts and you have to stop, you stop. But it was fine. I do definitely need to like ice today and tomorrow probably all day. Cause you know, it's a little sore in there, but it should be fine. And everything is good and working hard as always. There's no way around it. How'd it go? Good. Good. Hard, but good. Yeah. 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 You? Uh, yeah, it was hard. <laughs> yeah. I stopped at 20, um, just because I was like. That was enough. That was all I was like. Mm. That, that's good now. Um, but I was, I mean, the times were good. Like, that middle seven was faster than like I've ever yeah. done the middle seven. So the last seven wasn't quite as fast, but. So you're saying I pushed you a little too fast in the you know? <laughs> <laughs> I would not have run that fast without you, mm -hmm. but it was not your fault. Yeah, yeah. It was like, you know, I was like taking the opportunity that I had someone yeah. um, to like kind of push me. Okay. Um, but it's funny, I it's charge. like. charge. Next time I'm gonna charge you 500 bucks for yeah. racing. So. <laughs> I'll pay it. <laughs> um, <laughs> But it's like funny, like how, like right when you like started taking off, I was like, it got so hard. And I think, and like I was running, still like picking it up and running faster, but I felt like I was running so slow. I think yeah. just cause I watched you like go. Yeah, it's was, like that mental aspect of yeah. shit. Like I'm going hard, but this guy's like leaving me behind. Yeah. So it's like, am I running backwards? If you feel like you're slowing down, I know. but you were just picking it and up. And I feel like the times I've trained with you, that I've done that I feel bad because I'm like I know the feeling that she's going through but no. like it's also good mental practice for a race yeah sometimes like hold on. say you're in second place and the first place just goes you have to do what you have to do yeah just like fight for that second place and stay strong mentally so like yeah it is kind of like mental practice totally it yeah. sucks but yeah and then you like I definitely practice like going through those like miles where I'm like I can't 
do this. <laughs> and then like being like, oh, no, I feel good, you know? So. Yeah, that happened to me like with the last 3K. I was like, ugh, like, this is a lot of running. Yeah. <laughs> but, gotta get it done. And I think what, I What'd you finish your last 5K in? Nothing that fast. It was like 512, 513. I mean, 312, 313. So like 502 to 505 miles, maybe. Okay. So like, yeah. so it, that's like close to race pace. Yeah. Not anything crazy, but good. Yeah, you know. foot felt good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was a good day. Nice. And my foot held up. I think I was like compensating a little bit, so I'm definitely gonna have to mm. ice today. I couldn't tell you're compensating. I mean, you look yeah, good. Yeah, you look good. Looks okay. smooth. That's yeah. good. I think the only thing is, uh, towards the end, your shoulders come up a little bit. So you wanna keep those shoulders down and relaxed and your arms right down here. So okay. that, that'll help you run more relaxed and more efficiently. Yeah. So yeah. that would be the only thing you might pay attention okay. to. I'll keep an eye on that because, yeah, I definitely can feel it. My body just yeah. tensing. Yeah. You need to get a good, uh, good full body massage. <sighs> okay. I don't think he gets massages. <laughs> yeah. But I can, like, this last couple of weeks. You do? Yeah. Oh, nice. Close to the race, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I could just picture you on a massage table, like, yeah, yeah, I tell them to go super, like, easy. I get hurt, so they hate me, like, because I'm, like, micromanaging them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, like, if not, they, like, bruise me, so, like, Yeah. That's true. Fun. There's this guy from Venezuela in Boulder. You know, his name is Marcus? I haven't met him, but I know who he is. Yeah, yeah and I, I saw him the other day, and I was like... Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, I asked him if he knew you, and he was like, no, I've heard of him, but, like... Uh, I was like, oh, well, he can't come to you. Like, he would not like you. <laughs> like, he is too aggressive. <laughs> and I'm too weak. Yeah. So not a good like, combination. No. <laughs> I won't Jump off the here. table if the guy just touches yeah. you a little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, at this point in time, you know, as far as the progression is concerned, on a short time frame, but you got three weeks now, right? Yeah. Uh, it's perfect. Yeah. You I looked good. real good, picked it up. Yeah, and you don't want to fatigue yourself between now and then. You want to start the race with fresh legs. And I tell the story about Joni Benoit. You know, when she ran, at, when she won the gold medal, she had she injured her knee, so she had to use an improvised uh, hand crank to stay in shape. <laughs> that's all she could do. I don't. She maybe she swam a little bit, but that's really much all she could do. She, she, she went into it well rested. Yeah. So yeah, you yeah. should be you should be good. Yeah. Yeah. Feel good. So yeah, you look good. Look good. That's where it should be. Nice pickup. What would you get the last uh, few miles in? Like 313s, 312, 315s. So five minute pace? Yeah, 502 to 505 maybe. Yeah, somewhere. good. Yeah. Nice. And I felt pretty comfortable with now. So yeah, no, good. and that's what I want you to do is just run, feel comfortable, get the volume in, and pop that last six. Yeah, it was good. She was, she was, it was a stretch for her because, I mean, you were running easy for the last first uh, yeah. two thirds of it. And then, um, you know, she had to work hard that last... Uh, yeah, but sit. she finished strong, right? She finished strong. Oh, yeah, yeah. She really finished in close to race pace. Uh, and the concept is, uh, you know, for her, it was a little too fast the first third. Mm -hmm. Because if you go too fast the first third, you're not going to be able to hit the close to race pace at altitude yeah. for the last third. And that, that's the concept. Yeah. But overall, she got a good average, and she was very close to race pace. And a good practice running the last five miles on tired legs. So yeah. it helps. Yeah, exactly. Cool. So um, anyway, now it's pretty she much, that's down? it, that's it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I lost track of her. <laughs> we lost, we lost. There she is there. Been working on these apps for nothing. 